bed sigh. Do or die. <coughs> or are you guys are calling it now in South the, Williamsburg for like real estate purposes? Oh, you called us the Hasidic Jew neighborhood. Yeah. I used to live on Morrissey so down that way. It was so weird. We were driving up on Bushwick Avenue and there's a car gets in the then the other side facing against traffic just like stops at a, at a, at a red light and a green light and everyone's like what the fuck are you doing in the opposite lane in the opposite lane so did you guys okay one thing Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson oh my gosh yeah. he's the worst fucking fight me in history bro I'm so sick of him like I, like if if you want a, a real boxer fight a boxer like I don't I want to see him get challenged and now he chooses Mike Tyson when he's like 50 right. something 30 years out of the goddamn game. And I'm saying that Mike Tyson can't knock him out. Right. But well, they were showing video of Mike Tyson, the way how he trains. He <clears> still <throat> got it. Like, his speed alone with his power is just still there. It's there, but you also got to remember, like, whenever time we talk about any sport, the young guys usually come on top of the bigger, uh, the older guys, you know? Like, mm -hmm. it's just an evolutionary thing where it, the younger guy coming in with the talent usually beats on the, the, the older guy. I don't want to see Mike Tyson lose no fucking Jake Paul. And who knows? He might, just because it's for money. It might not even be a serious yeah. fight. You think it's going to be fixed? Yeah. Because there's no way I can really see unless unless Mike Tyson does something really, really dumb and gets hit with something that Jake Paul throws at him. I think boxing is going to step in and be like, listen, you got to fucking knock out this kid, Jake. This is circus, bro. But it's like with AJ versus Nagano. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. That was, that was brutal. Yeah. That was just brutal. And Naganu holds the Guinness World Record of the the hardest hitting punch, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, that's insane. But you know the the thing is that when you watch Naganu, and this happens with a lot of fighters, like if you watch UFC, you know when you watch UFC, if you watch any of these things, right? The fighter who dictates dictates the pace, usually the one who sets the tone for the match. Like they're the ones that they're more aggressive. The judges will see that. Oh, he's more aggressive. Like one thing I know is like when when you fight, you see guys like MMA and Muay Thai. If if someone goes for a leg kick, right, the guy gets hit. The guy who gets hit with the leg kick usually returns another fucking leg kick because it's more like for a tit for tat kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So when you watch Nugano, the boxers that he's going up against knows he doesn't have it. Like he knows they don't have that boxing skills. He fights those fights as if he's fighting an MMA match. Whereas like they just circle each other, they pace, they may stick their hand out a little bit here, then they'll throw one punch. That's what he was doing. Yeah. His hands were in like exactly uh, the way like that. But, but you watch way. heavyweight boxers; they swing. They don't stop. It's like you know, I'm, I'm, when they back up a little bit. You yeah. Know, once they see an opening, they're gonna they attack. go at it because boxers they they train with that mentality that you gotta keep pushing, you have to keep going. Like with, he fights as if he's waiting for that one knockout blow because he doesn't have the hand speed. No, yeah. He just doesn't have it. It's two different fucking sports. Oh, <coughs> there's a big fight tonight too, right? Is it, uh, Who? Uh, I don't know. Something my roommate was like a big fan of. Like Lewis something. I'll look it up. Lewis. Lewis. Louis. Yeah. I don't know, bro. He just needs to get. I think they need to get him like uh, an MMA match against a boxer. I think they're also Canelo is gonna come back out to fight. Hmm. Like, I want to see him fight someone like Manny Pacquiao, right? Fight, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, fight yeah, someone yeah. who actually could box with him. Oh, yeah. Sean O'Malley against Mara oh. Mara tonight. Oh. Mm -hmm. I don't have much faith in that fight going Shane, I'm Sean O'Malley's Sh way. Sugar. Whatever his name he's is. Very, I mean, he's good, bro. Yeah, I mean, his he's record's really good. a lot higher. It's 23 to 8. Mm-hmm. And then Sean's got 17 to 1. So, I mean, more wins, more losses, but more some more. But it's also, uh, if you look at the, because uh, I, you know, Shane, no, Shane, I on Shane, Sean O'Malley, he came in through, I guess, that the Contender Series. Mm -hmm. And before he actually got the title shot, his step up in competition was a guy named Petri Yan. And Yan, that was a close fight. And in fact, Yan made him bleed. And they made it seem like, you know, this fight may go Jan's way. And it actually went Sean's way. And Sean, after the fight, was like, he wasn't even too sure he won that fight. 
but he wanted to fight fights where it was like, get me some tune-ups before they get to the big boys. So Jan was like the biggest one he's done. As far as Vera goes, he's been fighting big fights all the time. Yeah, His competition man. level's been high. That's why when he formed the first time, he beat Sean. Because he's like, I, he's not afraid of him. He's not afraid to actually go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And most guys are like, oh, he's too flashy. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of kicks and weird you know, orthodox punches and shit. And he has power, too. Yeah. O'Malley could fucking knock you out. Um, do, do they do uh, tolls in the city over the weekend as well? Like I, that congestion toll? Uh, I don't know. Person. Yeah. I have no idea. That's going to ruin our business, bro. Dude, I mean, I mean, probably like studios are not gonna want to come into New York because of that shit yeah. too. I mean, it's expensive as it is already to film here. It's very expensive. I used to run this all the time. It might, it might affect like the whole contract situation too. Like you know, most guys might just settle because they can't afford you know the congestion pricing. It's to like work. you saw that, right? Yeah. And yeah. who's driving? A girl. <laughs> uh, and what is she? Is she Asian? Yes. Oh, you're good. Oh, no. <laughs> it's like... Oh, no. Get I'm back. just sorry. It's just like, you know... <laughs> the Asians are our friends. <laughs> the Asians are good. Oh, my God. God. The Asians. The, oh, you see this whole thing now? The governor stepped in and brought in... Uh, National Guard. National yep. Guard. Dude, that's how embarrassing for the NYPD. Like you can't do your in the yeah. NTA. You can't they, do your the NYPD job. doesn't feel bad because they know they didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. You cut their hours. You cut their, the amount of fucking graduates they have into the academy. Hey, yeah, you the reason why? And it's of, like the governor had to step. The gov yeah, the fucking mayor, Mayor yeah. Adams, couldn't even do that. Mm. Like, come on. And what's fucked up about that thing is that it all happened because of George Floyd. And all the police departments across the country is now like, oh, we have to scale back. First of all. No, that happened in Minnesota. <laughs> that didn't happen here. Yeah. And because and this is what's happening, because you want to, you, you guys don't want to prosecute anybody. Well, like, I'm watching the know? um, the comments that people are writing about this. They're all talking shit about the police department. They're and they're idiots. like, oh, you just want to bring back stop and frisk to just arrest people, and it's like, well, half the people that are coming onto the train that are because they're they're catching them by, mm -hmm. um, doing the uh. Jumping the, the turnstiles, turn turn yeah. the fare evasion, mm -hmm. yeah. basically, and and you know from statistics, 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 <laughs> statistics, um, basically shows that people that do jump the turnstile, a certain percentage of them are committing crime or have yes. warrants. Yes, it's funny. These guys talk about like the, the, those fair things don't matter, right? You know what I'm saying? But if you look at a guy, you say you arrest somebody, right? You ever know sometimes you see these guys rap sheets? Is they sometimes they have crimes that don't even coincide with one another. Like yeah. one would be like um, arson, right? And then one is like theft, like he he stole something. And then you see that one major one, like this fucking guy actually killed somebody. Oh, like if you're gonna if you if you kill somebody, jumping a fair ain't nothing for you. Mm -hmm. like, that's that's yeah. nothing. Well, yeah. yeah. I want to. Why? How? Why want to pay for a ride? I just murked somebody up the road right. two weeks yeah. ago. Fuck out of here! Exactly. You gotta arrest those guys. Unfortunately, I'm sorry. It's just the way it has to work. Yeah, and it's, it's the National Guard that came in yesterday. Yeah. Um, yeah. So what are they gonna do? They're just gonna like hang around the, in the subways and then. And the they do a back check. So like, and that's checks. the worst part. Like you, you, you got people who need to get to work. Yeah. And if they get held up because they missed a train, because the MTA, let's be real, not reliable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They ain't liable to lose their fucking jobs <laughs> because they probably work in some job where it's like, oh, you're late. It's over for you. Well, I guess now it's to the point where it's like, if you know you're going to go take the train and they're doing bag searches, mm -hmm. you should leave your house a little earlier, five, ten minutes before normally what you normally do, mm -hmm. just in case you get encountered with a back check. Yeah. yeah but at the end of the day, it's not even these guys' fault. Yeah. Like, we, we're, they're, we're all paying for whoever takes the subway. Are paying mm -hmm. for the fact that these politicians don't want to prosecute motherfuckers when they do a crime. Yeah. Because they want to be all progressive and shit. Like, I'm sorry. I'm a black dude. Black dudes, we, some of us commit crimes. Lock the motherfuckers up. <laughs> I don't care. Because they're the, cause when they go back to the neighborhoods, they are attacking other black guys. <laughs> for all the white folks who probably watch our thing, who like these liberal white people who are thinking, oh, it's oppression of black folks. Fuck you. I want the cops there. Because. <laughs> 
when my father was alive, he used to worry about this shit every week when he would walk to the bank. He said, I can't even go up to bank marks because I'm afraid if these motherfuckers will hit me over the head and shoot myself. I don't want to have that problem. Dude, I hate like, taking money out. I hate taking money yeah. out because it's like, yeah, you don't yeah. know who's over your shoulder watching yeah. you nowadays. And then, and of course, like they have, you know, that, that one door you go into the bank that it closes, so you have to use your mm -hmm. key or your like card to actually get in. Half the time, that shit doesn't work. Someone will just like leave and then let the other person in. Fuck these guys. Like these guys would be the ones. Well, we can't. If they was in China, say they was in China, and say some Chinese people was committing crimes. Like we can't arrest Chinese people. Everyone here is Chinese. <laughs> what are you talking about? Someone has to go to jail. <laughs> right. These here, we know that. Like it's a demographic that I mean I hate to say this, but we are involved in a lot of fucking dumbass crimes. We really are. But there's a lot of people in these communities who are like, yes, they want to have the police presence. Not just not just you no, know, just to be like some sort of just stop all fucking neighborhoods, but they want them because they feel safer. We can't own guns. You can barely own a fucking knife over you know, over four fingers and three right. So like what, what what other alternatives are you gonna give people who live in these shitty fucking neighborhoods? They need the police. Yeah. But these guys think they know what they're doing, and they're they, they living in the fucking suburbs, halfway across the fucking city. And they, yeah. they, they'd rather they'd gated rather, communities. They'd involved. rather get someone on like a speeding ticket than actually go into these like bad neighborhoods. Oh, like they barely fucking give people tickets for fucking not yeah. curbing their dogs. Right. Know? Right. The the easy shit, you know. So um, you're thinking that the police need to. Yeah. Enforce and be a little bit uh, more I'm tougher. Sorry, that's what it has to be. Because they call it the, the first thing they bring up is, uh, <coughs> oh, these people are impoverished, so they stole the TV and killed the grandmother because they're impoverished. There's a lot of black folk that's impoverished. In fact, statistically, Asians are more impoverished in this fucking in this city. You don't hear about Asians going around killing people. No. And you know what's sad? Actually, I've seen a lot of um. Oh, we're not gonna go to Dumbo. Oh, oh, oh we're not gonna go to Dumbo. <laughs> Earlier, we were like, where should we go? And I was like, oh, it's got a dumbbell. Oh, you fucking, you're, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, you're yeah. calling me out right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, calling you out. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's go to 824. They're over there. Dude. Well, we here. <laughs> no, I've, I've been seeing a lot of more, um, like, Asian people, like, uh, especially in my in my neighborhood, who are, like, passed out on the fucking streets. Mm -hmm. and, and they're all, like, older, too. They're not, like, druggies or anything. I think they're just, like. No, that's, that's a thing that's also in China. Um. You know, Asian people on the streets, but they do it so respectfully, though. Yeah, it's, it's kind of so fucking weird. That, like there is, um, I saw a man um, on the steep of a of the steps, and there's an ambulance out front, and the <coughs> people who were working at the church uh, were trying to, you know, help this guy up. He was like, "I don't want to go. I don't, don't I don't want to go." And it's like, "Well, you won't pay that fucking ambulance." Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you want that bill on you? They were they were showing the other day. Uh, I was watching. Um, they showed a video of. In China, people in the train station as they're walking, and all you hear is footsteps. That's all you hear oh, is yeah. footsteps. Like mm -hmm. people aren't talking on their phones, people aren't having conversations, they're just walking. Yeah. It's like it's so militant. Yeah, and then they actually go the right way up the stairs and right way down the stairs. Yeah. It's very homogenous. It's a culture homogenous. Yeah, but then it's like, you know, people are like, oh, yeah, you know, they're so disciplined. But it's like, their suicide rate. What, Japan? Japan. Yeah, Japan has a high suicide rate. High suicide rate. Because you have to be this machine. You also have a very big hookup culture there, too. Japan. Really? Yeah, they have these, like, uh, hotels. Oh, that's hotels right. Hotels that you yeah. just pay and you just go. Like, they really pause. do separate, like, sex and... Love is two different things. Like you, like it seems like oh, it's okay. Yeah, it's big. Uh, and a lot of the, young, the older people are not that they don't like it though, because there's less babies being born. And like they all worry about you know, yeah, grandkids in the future, and, you know, generations. Yeah. Well, I mean that's that's just happening in every yeah, freaking it's a cultural culture thing. It happens everywhere. Yeah. My you parents know. are already asking for grandkids on my side. Okay, they find a girlfriend first. <laughs> Jeez. You need to learn how to have sex first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the population is just going down. Well, we should be well you know suggestion. who's making babies? Stupid people. <laughs> <laughs> well, at the end of the day, we're going to need somebody to make them. <laughs> unfortunately. 
No, but like you know, the 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 more poverty areas are yeah, having they, like you know three, four, kids. five yeah. kids, yeah. so that one of them can get a NBA contract. You said it. <laughs> <laughs> It's so funny how people just take photos in this area. And only for that, really. Because there's like, all the restaurants are here, so expensive. I don't get it, though. You pay all the fucking money to be here, right? Yeah. There's like no parking, no nothing. There's like no... Well, that's what they want. They want you guys to start using public transportation. They're trying to choke these fucking streets to the point where you don't want to drive. Right. I mean, before, before you... Eat, we got you. We were like, you know, let's, we're staying in the Brooklyn area. Oh no! Ugh. Oh god! Man down! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh, god. Uh. oh hi! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're back on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh hi! Oh hi! Look, that's gonna that's how we're gonna record now. It's gonna be like that. Uh, so I could just pull over in one area. Red. Red bed. Red bed. <laughs> Captain Gum Bed. Mm. Uh, hello, Captain Gum Bed. It's been a while. <laughs> oh, oh, we are back on. Nice. All right. Is, is, it, is it mic'd? It takes you five hours to park. I know. Jeez. Jeez. You have all this space Christ. in the world. So who's driving? Was it Asian? Uh, no. <laughs> it was, was a woman, woman though. Yeah. Was it a woman? <laughs> <laughs> Watch out. Before That's all. We love ladies. We love ladies. We're just very, very weary about you. <laughs> very, very cautious of their... And then this is what I mean, too, right? Here's the thing, right? Look at these streets. <laughs> I know. It's like you pay all the money to be here, and they can't read you read the streets. They want to keep that history alive. What is yeah, that? Head? For that Her fucking... story. Is that a new head? Is that a new architectural thing? What? Is that... Is that... Has that always been there? No, hell no. Hell no. Because <laughs> I know her <laughs> shit on that motherfucker. Hell no. It's like a little cherub. There's no way that's been there, but... It's weird. Like, most of this it's area, creepy. I remember, it was just... Yeah. This is like, where, like... This is where you find a lot of drugs and hookers back in the day. Really? Yeah, no one came down. It was factories and empty lots. You got it done. Probably still can find hookers and strippers around here. You know, they got to go to OnlyFans. 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 That's going to be a... So, prostitution and strip clubs are going to be a thing of the past. You can't, you can't, get, get, you can't get rid of interactive titty. No, because it's going to get to the point where people just freaking just want to watch... Uh, OnlyFans? Um, yeah. yeah. Pay a subscription for boobs. <laughs> and just watching on, like, I mean, it's getting to the way where the, the culture is. They, people don't even want to touch people no more. Yeah. Rather just yeah. touch yourself. Yeah, I don't really see any, like, young people at certain clubs. It's a dated thing. Yeah. For the and you know what's even crazier is that when you read these stories about kids who are I mean, I don't think, like, for movies, I don't think you should have sex scenes in every fucking thing, let's be real. Some, sometimes it is pretty much gratuitous. But, like, even that's become a thing where it's, like, people are so opposed to sexualities and sex, that they don't even want to see it in media. It's like, everything's gotten real PC now. Yeah, but <coughs> sometimes it just gets really weird. Like, you know when you're watching a movie or something, and the sex scene just comes on, and you're watching it with somebody? Yeah. It gets it's just really, like, weird. quiet yeah. and it's weird. It's like, 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 really pointless, like, you know? And you just whip out your dick, and they just like, they're looking for a murderer, and he ain't going to a room, and just, just whip out the dick. Like, yeah. I, that's why I hate movies or shows that have this, like all these like pointless sex scenes. Like, I, I was watching True Detective, uh, the fourth season with Jodie Foster, and there's a lot of sex scenes with Jodie Foster, and it's kind of yeah. uncomfortable. It's like, you know, I don't want to see this. And I'll say it's pointless. It has nothing to do yeah, with the plot. It has nothing to do with the story. It's like, we get it. You're having sex. Cool. Good for you. Yay, Jodie Foster. It's like, feel this. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you know? Yeah. Like if it's not the story is about like two people trying to make a baby. Right. Then you may have to have some of that. Or this is coffee time over. I know, right? It's like every Saturday morning we <laughs> hang out by the city bikes under the bridge. 
Uh, Ever something called hipster coffee and a croissant. Coffee croissant. Um, <coughs> yeah, fuck uh, <coughs> Netflix. Uh, no, I opened up my Instagram, right? Mm. And then on Netflix, it's like a sex scene. Yeah. And it's like, whoa! Like, yeah. what? What is like? How do I just open an Instagram? And it's like, it's. Right. Like, I forgot what movie, what what show it is. But a guy there, and there's like three girls around him, and they're all like gyrating and like all on top of him. And then it's like, and I open up the comments, and people were furious. Yeah, just started. They're like, "What yeah. are you doing, Netflix?" Like, yeah. one guy's like, "Uh, I just opened the, this up in class, and this is what pops up on my feed." <laughs> that's not just for Instagram. You can't. That's why you can't find all of those thoughts. You, you open up your phone. Oh my god! And he just like someone's over your shoulder. Oh shit! He doing yeah. the refresh button. It's yeah. not working. Not working. Yeah. And it's like, I swear I'm not looking at porn. It's just Instagram being weird. And, I hate, and also, World Star does the same thing where it's like, yeah. I can't believe this one girl got kicked out of a mall for doing something dirty. And it's just like a photo of her with her tit out and her boobs out. And her like, out. Oh my God, don't click on it. Yeah. Netflix, it got, I, I haven't seen the special, but it was like this uh, this transsexual or trans, I don't fucking know, um, comedian. And she or he, whatever, you know, respectfully, <laughs> talking about the new pussy. I guess she, she new has a new pussy. What's like, the new pussy? You know, your dick is turned into a pussy. The, 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 I forgot what they call it, the plastic, whatever thing it's called. But anyway, I thought it was interesting because I'm like, What's going on, it man? seems like this person's whole gripe, gripe, gripe is with women. And I was trying to figure out that a lot of this trans stuff, about all of it, is like they hate real women. Why like, though? I, I, that's what I'm trying to figure out. It's like, but I'm, then they want to be in the sports of like women. Yeah, but it's like these guys. Like, uh, it was like all right, there's this lifter out in Canada, right? That was talking shit about female <coughs> lifters that he was competing against. Talking about how they're weak and yeah, yeah, they gotta. They're not like they're not, they're not like me. I gotta do a better chest press and all these women. But I'm like, but you're trying to be a woman, but now you now you're trying to like denigrate women, right? Like, it's, a, it's like this level of like. Um, uh, like what's it misogyny like like why you right. don't get it yeah it, it, oh yeah you're right dude it's a different level of misogyny yeah it's mm-hmm. like like you're trying to erase real women like then you did not to mention you you invade their spaces and you make them feel like shit for not accepting you like and women are not doing that to men right like there's no fucking you know like I don't, I'm not seeing Ellen Page or Elliot Page come out and say I'm a better man than you. Right, right. Like he's literally just saying, "Let me live my life. Yeah, I'm not bothering anybody. Yeah. So leave me alone." Yeah. You know, these fuckers like you know you gotta you gotta. Like, it's like it's like a literally what dudes would do. You just come in there, chest out, elbows out, bumping everybody. I'm trying to believe that the feminists are right. They got some points about how some men could be fucking toxic. Well, yeah, and then like you know that one uh, swimmer, you know, oh, Leah uh, Thomas with the with the fucking <coughs> long, long winning everything, and it's like, and then so I'm, I'm surprised, you know, women are like, um, okay, yeah, we gotta put this to a little hole a little bit, yeah. you know, we're just completely wiping yeah. away actually like yeah. talented female, you know, athletes. It's wild. I was watching. Well, why can't they just make their own league? Because it's whatever. Inclusive. That's not inclusive. It's not inclusive, Calvin. It's not inclusive. You're gonna get canceled just by saying that. And in fact, oh, when you look these these people up, they're like, I like, think about it. Like think about like football terms, right? Uh-huh. Right now, the best quarterback we can say playing right now is fucking Patrick Mahomes. Of course you would say right? Because yeah. he is. <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> Deal with it. Deal with the Mohawk. Whatever. Anyway, so Patrick Mahomes is the best playing right Kermit now. You can say Joe Burrow is another one, right? Like um, Jalen Hurts, those are kind of the guys you say they're the good quarterbacks right now, right? Josh Allen. Josh Allen, definitely better than Jalen Hurts. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's but, wrong. That's <laughs> you wrong. You never see Josh Allen or any of those guys <coughs> go into women's football if there is one and say I gotta play because I've no. Yeah. You ever know like Leah Thomas sucks. She was like 40, uh, 40, 400 in the men's league mm-hmm. in the ranking of swimming. Mm-hmm. These power lifters like, but uh, are like bottom of the barrel before they move up to the women's. Yeah, that's what I'm noticing. Like these guys are not succeeding in their fucking in their, in their you know, in their, yeah. in men's, and they say, you know what, I feel like a woman. No, you literally suck, and I you like, you know, you know what? Let me use my biological advantages right. to take over the women. Yeah, like, but their number one thing to also say is, I take testosterone blockers oh and estrogen, God. so yeah. I'm more a woman. Like, no, you no, still no, no, no. got you're still that six in five. You, you, you still got that dog in you. 
You can't, you can't, I'm sorry, but you can't outshoot your, your, your fucking who you are, your genetics. You can't yeah. inject this and that and think you're going to change your body. Nah, yeah, sh- sure. You lose some bone density and maybe some muscle mass, but not comparable to a fucking lady. Yeah, fucking yeah. Lady, yeah. Yeah. You just suck at your sport and you decided to switch over. That's just so, I, I don't know. Well, they, they were showing it the other day. I think it, it was like in high school. Uh, mm-hmm. Basketball. Yeah. Um, I saw that when the guys elbowing them for the rebounds. Yeah, just like bodying these other girls, and it's like, and like two two of the girls got hurt. No, oh, yeah. And but it's to the point where it's like, um, somebody was like, as a father watching this, watching your daughter play basketball and having a transgender person just bodying your kid, mm-hmm. where's the outrage? Yeah, yeah it's not gonna happen. I mean, most parents are scared when a kid goes off to school for the first time. Like, when your mom got to let you go at the age of four or five, you know, go to your first school, yeah. three, for daycare, whatever. Like, your parents worry about you for, for everything you do. Yeah, exactly. I can't imagine how your father is sitting like, this is, they said this is okay. Somebody yeah. literally said that this fucker could go to my little girl's locker room and change in front of them, yeah. dong it all. To play the sport. Um, well, I mean, also, it's it's just like, okay, well, I'm trying to get my daughter to go to a good school mm-hmm. on scholarship or something, or some sport. She's really good at what she does. Yeah. But then now I was just being impeded by, you know, this, this yeah. trans person. Yeah, these, her stats are being shadowed yeah. by. And the rankings. It, it, oh, yeah. I mean, colleges look at rankings. Like yeah, exactly. Coaches, uh, you know, talent scouts, they look at rankings and they see, it, you know, hey, Sorry, you would be top twenty, but you got shoved out of the top twenty five now. But then why don't you just make it a um a what you call it league? Well what do you call it if you make a league where it's women, men and transgender people? A league of their own. A league of their own. <laughs> just that playing the same work. sport. It still won't work. Like, like, that's why you see in football, I love the sport. I think we all agree we love it. But that's why you see a lot of these concussions because you got a guy who weighs two hundred pounds. Smash into a guy who weighs almost 150 soaking wet. Yeah. There, like, there's there's the dynamics that we, we try to account for in most sports. We're like, okay, fine. There's a shorter guy going against a smaller guy, a wider guy, whatever. But they're both guys, so maybe it, it works. Mm-hmm. But a guy who's 135 pounds, like an MMA, <coughs> let's say a 135 is bad. That's why you have weight classes, yeah. Female bantam weight is also 135. The average height for most of the guys in bantam weight could be anywhere from six feet down to like 5'8", no, 5'7". There's some women who sit at 5'7". Mm-hmm. That 5'7 guy will knock the fuck out of the 5'7 girl who weighs exactly the same weight as he does. I forgot who said it. It was in tennis. Um, What's tennis bad boy? What's his name? Uh, um, John McEnroe. Yeah, I think McEnroe. it was McEnroe. But he was saying Serena Williams is an absolute elite mm-hmm. tennis player. Yeah. In her own rights, she is one of the greats. Yeah. Absolutely. But if you take her and you put her against the 700th place male tennis player, you beat her. You beat her. Oh, really? And it's cuz it's just a different dynamic. She said it herself that the ball comes faster with the men, is harder with the men than it is with the women. Like, I mean, we have to take into account that it's just, I'm not saying she can't beat us, she'll beat us. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, for sure, she'll smoke us. Yeah. It's not, it's not yeah. saying that it's man versus every woman. No, yeah, level. exactly. Yeah, I, mean, I cannot beat a sprinter. professional. No, nah, I'm not beating a sprinter, you know? But <laughs> I am beating the bitch up in boxes. I'm beating your Yeah. I thought I was a professional boxer. You're killing that lady. You're going to kill him. But on an average level, like any one of us, if, if, you, if you deal with a, an everyday ordinary man and ordinary woman, that guy might be more powerful than she is, more like he will be. Yeah. And that, and I don't know why we forget about this. So like, we can put fucking people on the moon. We got cars who can talk to us, but we can't figure out that gender is what it is. Like, no, no, cannot. Where the hell did we go wrong? Cannot. Yeah, um, that's why I'm gonna cut my dick off. Don't do it. Uh, uh, Don't do it. 
Olympic marathon runner finally <laughs> to fulfill my dreams. <laughs> no, but that's the thing. They never do that. They don't cut their dicks off. They take themselves a bunch of drugs. Like, most athletes are fine pumping themselves full of steroids to get that edge. Mm. Trust me. They'll pump in some estrogen just so they can get that feeling of winning. Yeah, they yeah. tuck their dick in. They don't care. Because if he was really bad about it, he would go. Bad about it. Get his dick cut off. Get some breast implants. Change his name legally. <laughs> then go compete. You know what's funny, though? It's like, I, I, like reminds me of like, The Ringer, where yeah. he like, pretends to be mentally retarded and then goes and tries to win and oh johnny knoxville i'm thinking the same thing where it's like if i if i go trans and just get my ass bodied by these like runners or oh whatever. yeah then it's like what, the what did i just do imagine. fuck <laughs> my dick's gone <laughs> <laughs> boobs i'm a loser I'm a loser i can't even fucking kidding me I did all of this the olympics are another four years from now <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I'm in my 30s. <laughs> it's, like, it's just like, I still have like a dad bod and like a gut out and I have like a mustache. I'm like, what the fuck? It's not like it's, it's it's be a little weird right now. <laughs> <laughs> just sitting there massaging your tits, calling yourself a loser. <laughs> no. <laughs> Groping yourself all day. I'm gonna go flip my knees. <laughs> you move oh, down and you touch your dick. <laughs> then, yeah, then you know, you're touching no, one tit and a dick in your hand. No, but like, I, keep, I keep referring my dick as a bean, though. I keep it to, like, like, no, it's my vagina. It's just like a dog. <laughs> my vagine. Yeah, like, my clint hurts. No, that's just that's your penis. <laughs> it's a really big clit. It's a, a really big. little penis. <laughs> oh my god. What is this guy doing? Like, how are you turning like that, you no, dickhead? He needs all the lanes because he's scared. Is, is it a woman? Uh, uh, it kind of looks like. He's a migrant. My, he's a <laughs> migrant. Uh, 441, forget. Oh, no, that's diesel. God. Yeah, d- d- fuck. Uh, oh, my God. Migrants. I hate that word now. Hmm. Yeah, this I think I think <laughs> this this country bit off too much than what they can chew. Absolutely, it's like okay, great, you're trying to help people. I, I understand that, but it's like this is just ridiculous. Uh, the amount of people coming in here, and then it's like seeking asylum. Like, what asylum are they seeking? I want to see the paperwork for yeah. half of these people. What asylum are they seeking? Yeah. Well, technically, they're supposed to when you seek asylum because they gotta sometimes travel through multiple countries to even reach America. Depending on where, they, of course, you gotta do. I mean, if you're in South America, so but they're supposed to be like, say you're in one country where you're trying to flee, the next country over is where you should actually seek asylum yeah, in. Correct. And then if they deny you, you just keep moving and moving. Well, that's how it should finally be. Finally, make it here, because there's a lot of countries in South America that's actually very, you know, economically they're great. It's beautiful. And they're not persecuting their fucking people for a reason why. Except Venezuela. You no, know, like Venezuela. Mm-hmm. But it's like if they were looking at the border, the people coming in, you have people from Russia, yeah, China, yeah, China India, all these other countries coming in. It's like it's just an open door, and everyone's like flooding it now. Well, they could keep the Indians, though. Indians could come, but <laughs> it's like but the amount of money, the amount of money that it's they're curry. giving these people. It's God damn. <laughs> A little spicy. I'm sorry. Spicy. Indian movies are nice. You got a dark nipple. It's like you got a dark nipple, but then you have like a, a sharp nose. Like man, you like a tan white lady. It's beautiful. You got the hair. It's good food. You know, growing up, your I, gods are interesting. I love it all. Interesting. Your interesting. gods are interesting. They do have some cool They're very gods. interesting gods. Like six arms and six. an elephant head. And they're all hot. Like yeah, that's yeah. a good looking guy. Better than our Jesus guy. Oh wow. No, but I know what you're saying, Calvin. It's yeah. nuts, bro. It's really nuts. No, but it's like, why are we giving them so much money? They're doing this thing now where migrants or, you know, people that don't have citizenship can get a house now. Yeah. Yeah. So well, what about the people that are we working live, hard yeah, over yeah. here, paying taxes, doing all this stuff, and like we can't get a house? Yeah. And it's not like asking for a handout, but it's like, where's the help in that? Yeah, if you're giving these handouts, just so you can be on the right side of history. Like, there's some times where, you know, America, you don't have to be on the right side of history. It's okay. Like, look up for the people. Like, But it's so hard, man. It's hard when, you, when you're saving you your money. Like, you could do both of them. All the money we have. 
like you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're gonna help out one, you can still help us out too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like if you, you, they act like they gotta suffer one, and the other one gets all the benefits. Like, yeah. In which I don't understand. Yeah, but it's it's it, but also too, like I said, it's not asking for a handout. It's not saying, oh, give me money for a house. It's, mm-hmm. it's just saying. You know, help people out with lower APR, lower interest rates, yeah. Yeah. lower, you know, like d- first time home buyers and all this stuff, like help people out, especially people with kids too. Mm-hmm. Like if you can show that you've been working for X amount of years and you've been paying X amount of taxes and you have kids and you have no criminal record, like why, why can't you help these people out more and then go down the line? Mm-hmm. Like help the people within the country first, help the Americans first, yeah. not, not the other people. Yeah. And this is why everyone's flooding over here because it's you know it's a free candy give out right now. It's kind of go fishing. Those guys going fishing. Mm-hmm. He wants that. Looks like a grip. Wow. 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 He looks like a grip, right? Yeah. yeah. That's what the group was doing. That's what I mean. Fuck See, Americans are having rough times right now where you know regular guy like that gotta go fishing. And he might get one of those like fucking those three eyed fishes. Yeah. Got me. Yep. You and he's gonna eat it because he's probably hungry. <laughs> And while the migrant is taking his tax dollars, <coughs> eating like you know, <clears throat> yeah, eating of um, you know, um, Chilean sea bass. It's a shame what they've done to this building. Jeez. Domino, Domino, the refinery. It, it's funny how they just kept the, they the, kept the outer, shell. Like yeah, I fucking hate this sometimes. What is this that they're building here? Something stupid that won't be in it. It says like working years. progress mixed use. It does look kind of dumb. Watch, in, in 20 years, it's going to be trash. Yeah, it's probably a migrant shelter. Yeah. But, you know. <clears throat> but didn't they, like, <clears throat> take the, the kids had to not go to school for, like, a few months or whatever so that they can have these migrants in there? They, so they did something where the, when the, the weather was mm-hmm. so crucial, like, so bad that it was cold. And these migrants are in these tents, so they went to these these public schools, and um, Run, <laughs> they, uh, they went to these public schools, and they told all the parents we're going to go to remote remote learning, and you know the kids will come back to school within a few couple days, and it got to the point where the parents went to the school the next day when the migrants were coming in, and they were blocking it, like yelling wow. and all this stuff. What a school system had to like turn them back and send them back somewhere else. Mm. But it's like you're paying your taxes for your yeah, kids to go to yeah, school, cool. and then then other than that, it's like now you're telling me my kid has to stay home, and even if they're in high school or whatever, and or in like you know elementary school or middle school to the point where it's like now I I have to take a day out of work to stay home with my kid now right. now now I gotta lose money for this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. Yeah. I mean, granted, yes, there there is way to 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 give help to people. I'm not saying do not give help. Why, why I'm not, not like saying, churches? Like they have so many community centers. Though. But it's like, why bring them to like high density populated cities? Right. You know, why Detroit? Why 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 New York? It's like you got Oklahoma, you got Nebraska, mm. where there's amount of land that aren't being used. Build shit over there, and like you know, start a little migrant society. Um, also, was, like, the guy Greg Abbott from Texas, and he started with the whole shipping them here, but he did that because we kept saying we we're sanctuary cities. Yeah, because we opened up our big do. mouths. You so know? he's like, you and I going to deal with what Texas and Arizona has been dealing with for fucking years, and now we see. There's a yeah. big uh, migrant population from like uh, Central America coming into like Oklahoma and like kind of midwest out there good they should go there then. no this is like years ago oh. they're doing this for um because like a lot of farmers were like oh great i have you know farm hands i can give them a place to stay yeah pick my strawberries and then when they're ready they go to the uh, they go north where the, the strawberries are about ready to be picked up there mm-hmm. so and then they kind of do this like big circle and then they go they do get all the work, get, get, all the money, get paid right and okay. then when this when it's the off season they go back into mexico or wherever give the money to their families and then oh you know that's about another two months with my family i gotta go back up and do the farm hand thing again yeah so that that was a big uh, you know uh, reason why they wanted to do you know open borders that nice <coughs> to do that too. Yeah. 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 That, yeah it was a good system yeah, that's it a good is a good system, system. and, and they, do that's they pay taxes of- still though if they they get paid here well i mean they didn't really own any property they just stayed at the farmer's like barn 
mm. and then they would like work you know work for cash you know that enough money that would go a long way down in, in Mexico or wherever and then they would start the cycle again and then of course they closed off the borders so it's mm. a lot harder to, to, to do that a lot of farmers were pissed actually they were like oh fuck I don't have any work I gotta go find yeah, some yeah because when you take those people they did it in uh in New York and Buffalo area because you know they have mm -hmm. a big um, dairy industry there yeah mm -hmm. with the cows and then they had um you know um illegal people working there but it got to the point where like you know they asked the the dairy farmers and they're like well, wh why are you hiring illegals and you can't hire you know good old americans to do it and then they're like well good old americans don't want to get their hands dirty exactly. mm -hmm. they and, don't want to do the job yeah or they complain, or they, you know, it's like they don't want to be standing, like, all these hours with all this physical labor that needs to be done. Right. I'm willing to bet that people will usually become farmers in those areas that you from, like, Oklahoma and not, like, well, any of these rural, you know, areas. It's probably because it's a family thing, and it's a local locality. It's mm -hmm. like, if you live near the farms, maybe that's what you want to do, because you grew up around it. Correct. What fucking kid you know from the city was like, man, I can't wait to go... So Oklahoma be a farm. Mm. You know, I, technically, like deep down, deep down, when I get to a certain age and I choose to retire, I would like to go and own a ranch and have like a small little farm. But you wouldn't. But you wouldn't. Say not at not. Huh? You're not seeing that at seven. No. 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 Not it's at all. Few. And yeah. those kids who do say that, they're more likely because they're environmentalists or they some sort of conservation they're into, mm -hmm. but. If they're, the average kid is not going around saying, yeah, I want to be a farmer. So that's the reason why those guys do hire the Mexican guys, because they know they're going to be willing to take the work. Like, I hate those Americans who complain about those jobs. and like, oh, you should give those jobs to Americans. Will you do them? No, but I'm just saying, <laughs> no. I don't agree with that part. But I do agree, you know, if they want to work and it helps the economy, that's fine. But when you're just giving them free shit, you're doing it. They only usually do that is for votes. Is right. really so, does that still work yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. No, you're exactly, yeah, I just want to do it for the votes, you're exactly right. Um, be on the good side of history and where it's you know, not yeah, really it's necessarily. Like, that's why they really doing it. It's, it's like a virtual signal. Isn't it? In the end of the day, we'll see what happens because after this election, depending who becomes president, you know what's going to happen. If it's Biden, it will continue. And if it's Trump, he might. Not let it continue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't imagine a world where Trump would. I mean, he, he probably shot uh, so much shit down that uh, Biden has been doing. Yeah, yeah, but the problem is it's going to take so, it's so long, long for him to do it. But I feel like this is the, f you know, of course, this is his fourth year of his term. But, like, yeah, but I, I, don't, I, don't, I feel like the effects are coming in now. Yeah, but the, but the problem with this political standpoint of the way how things are done is a president can say this is what he's going to do but it needs to go through so many rounds of voting for it to happen. And it's like, you know, if a, if a Democrat wants to, you know, establish something, then the Republicans might shoot it down or it might take a little longer. So it's gonna take longer for whatever they want to happen and whatever everyone likes to come true, vice versa, Republican, Democrat. Mm. So that's, I, I think that's the big problem. It's like change is needed, but it takes so long for change to be done. Unless you do executive orders that they, they tend to do. Just yeah. Fucking just but, say I'm gonna do it because I'm the president. I mean, they do it with war. Like you're supposed to vote on every war that we ever. Any conflict that happens, Americans must have a vote. At least a Congress votes. Yeah. They didn't vote for fucking happening in Iraq. Yeah. No. There was no vote for Afghanistan. There was no vote for any of that stuff that's happened. Any little minor skirmishes we have, there's no vote. We just do. It just happened. Yeah. You just wake up. It's on the news. We're going here. Mm -hmm. okay. Who killed these guys? Who's that gonna happen? <laughs> Why are we going there? And you know what's wild? There are seven. So I was watching this lady talk about this. She's a Canadian, like, um, um, special forces combat veteran. She went over to Afghanistan and Iraq. So you know, like, the Geneva Convention, right? You guys mm -hmm. have heard of that? That's supposed to be like dictates how we engage in you know, the war, the engagement of war, how we're not supposed to, you know, collateral damage, none of that stuff. But back in the 1940s, it was by any means necessary you win this fucking war. That's why we dropped two fucking bombs you know, in Nagasaki and Hiroshima, Japan. Mm -hmm. So what she was talking <coughs> about was that you're not supposed to send boots in the ground like armies. Like, 
we have, at least here in America, we have seven branches of like, not sorry, branches, but seven special forces units that can wipe out whatever you need to wipe out. These guys are like the best of the fucking best. They wake up in the morning oh, to yeah. kill somebody, go to sleep, going ready to kill somebody, and wake up again, do it again. Right. Like these guys live that shit. And armies, are, are, at least with them, maybe they don't have to follow those Geneva rules. But none of us are willing to do that anymore. America's not willing to go to these extremes of like really double down and go out and get these wars done. This well, is why they do what they do. They don't vote on this. They don't want to. They don't want to have that. In other words, they don't want to deal with the fucking blowback of right. what will happen if we do an actual full scale war to be, you know, we go out there and start taking fucking heads. Well, it's also I, I feel like you know we don't want to go full scale because it's we're not truly passionate about it unless there's oil involved or because it's not on our soil so like all these yeah. other the countries like whoa 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 no we're, we're gonna go fucking head first we're gonna mm -hmm. kill as many people on the other side as we possibly can because this is our turf this is our territory yeah. and whereas the United States is like we'll give you some money but we're not gonna yeah, but, but, why, but why, yeah. why does America always have to give other countries money or donate or help them out like why because at the end of the day, those smaller countries can't help us, but they also talk shit about us. We don't. We don't care. Because they also know we'll kick your ass anytime we feel fucking feel like it. Yeah, but why don't That's we just keep our do. money and just work with our money here and you know fix what we need fixed here? You know. I just wish we just mind our business. That's why. Like, it. how many? How much dollars went to Ukraine? Billions. 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 Billions of dollars. Which, why don't you fucking just help the economy out here? Right. Right. There's no money in helping people. You know? It's like, <laughs> I always wonder, what would, uh, well, you remember Yang Gang? <laughs> What's mm. that, the guy that was running? Um, Andrew Yang. Andrew, Andrew Yang, where he wanted to give everyone monthly uh, installments. Uh, right. Like 1500 Yeah. Per, uh, like a month. Which I, I think would have been great because he was saying that money would just been used for the economy back into the economy. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah of course you'll have those people that are working where they're like, I'm just gonna bank. I'm gonna bank. Money. I'm gonna save it. And that's the thing too. I feel like uh, those the kind of wealthier people they should like, all right, with, you you don't get this payment necessarily. Or if you do, yeah, if you make X save, amount of money, right? um, you know, because you because they know we're not gonna put this back into the economy. We're just gonna save it. We're gonna invest in it. Yeah, but then they can tax you at the end of the year. That's on true. that money too. Yeah, but for for the people who like need bread and milk, like you know, that's gonna go back into the economy uh, almost immediately. Yeah, yeah, most people when they have the money, they you know they can spend it or spend back into the economy. But that I it's just fucking don't have the weird. Keep it. Keep it. <laughs> I would keep it. I would put it in the saving account. Let the let let it just you know. A crew money. There's really good stages in offices in there. This is Broadway stages. Yeah. Fifty Eagle. It's always just. <laughs> it's nice in there. Yeah. I've been in there. Yeah. Um, this place makes really good sandwiches. Eagle Trading Company. Do they really? Yeah. yeah I've been there before. I've never yeah. been there. They make really good coffee. It's from like there. rustic sandwiches, you know. I uh, you know what's just always a slap? It's a BLT. It's a good old BLT. It's, it's refreshing. It's refreshing. I think BLTs are refreshing with the lettuce and tomatoes. Mm -hmm. If I have a BLT, I like the tomato to be thick cut. Yeah, yeah, because like, because there's not enough. Because that's in there. Yeah, yeah, it feels more meaty. Yeah, like a like a burger. Yeah, a burger. Um. Also, this the bar I went to last night, the Broadway, over in Bushwick, they have this uh, like lower level burger pop up thing. Mm -hmm. So they have really good chicken sandwiches, like cheeseburgers, and oh my god, it's like the meatiest fucking chicken sandwich ever. But of course, you know, it's like, what, $13? $13 for a chicken sandwich? Yeah. Did they kill the fucking chicken? <laughs> it's, it's so it bad. Talked. Dude, they, it's um, talked. Like, fast food, fast food restaurants now are starting to be a high-end establishment. For the amount of money that you're paying, <laughs> yes. it's it's it, there's no dollar menus no more. By the time you end up buying a cheeseburger, fries, and a drink, you end up paying like fifteen to twenty dollars. Yeah. yeah, 
I'm just happy I don't eat that shit no more. Mm -hmm. But still, though, it's like there's people out there that, you know, don't have the money to make a full meal and they just want something really quickly. Or they don't have now, the time. Or have the time, yeah. Now it's to the point where it's like, I need to make time so I can make mm -hmm. myself something because this is really getting expensive. Yeah. They were shitting on five guys. It's five like guys. 20 bucks. It's crazy expensive. Why would they sit there and 20 bucks. all the shit on their chest? What's wrong with those guys? It's like so bad. Five guys getting shitted on? Five guys getting shitted on. What, what I do love out there. <laughs> Yeah, I, want, I just, I just want to like, I want to do a sit-in of five guys and eat all the peanuts there. You know, they have like the free peanuts. Like in the, uh... Yeah, just take your time. Walk a little slower. Yeah. Like, <sighs> she just came back from yoga. Yeah, yeah. She's, well, she's stretched out then. She she's should, you know, lim she's limber. She should walk a little faster. That's just me being a dickhead. Still, though. <laughs> yoga is really, I mean, it's insane it's how many intense. mats you see with these girls walking. They the are oh, like hot yoga. How do people do hot yoga? I forgot what it's actually called. Is that Indian? Like, is that an Indian word for it? I forgot what it's called. Yeah. She looks intense. <coughs> um, I, I, yeah, yoga hurts. I mean, I, I, I think it'd be good for my muscles and whatnot, but fuck, it hurts. It's a good stretch. Yeah. Well, don't you got to start off like with the very um, simple poses first to get used to it? Is that something like that? It's like there's levels to these poses that to do. Really? Yeah. It's like a, like a black belt situation? Well, there's some poses that's much more difficult than others. You know? That sucks. If that's an apartment building there. Yeah, I know. Right next to the bridge. They made an eye flyover uh, right before the Midtown Tunnel. You know, there's like uh, skydiving, like really um, simulators. Yeah. Oh, yeah. simulator. So I guess oh, there it is, right behind us. I fly. What are you doing there? Oh, it's like one of those tunnels. Yeah, yeah, where you yeah. Just go and you have yeah. air blast up your ass while you're just floating in midair. <laughs> I just want to get blackout drunk and do that. Fucking law and order stages is up that block. Goddamn place. Oh yeah. Why are we here? The place is evil. Uh, 4760 29th Street. Yeah, these oh, wow. Down. I just put that just, on blast. Just put it on blast. <laughs> People are going to show up. Like, who who is a diehard Law & Order fan anyway? I know. I, I, that's trying to end. It's like, I think I think SVU is going gonna, is gonna to be stunned. I mean, as soon as Mariska leaves, they're, they're just going to drive. No more SVU. Can't do it without her. Do you know about her story? Her... her, her dad was like mobbed up and then her mom so like she was her mom was driving her and then yeah yeah yeah, yeah. she got beheaded well the head didn't what? come off and it didn't, they didn't, it didn't come off but they definitely got hit in the head in the head and then of course Mariska was like sick so like she, she, she was, was in the back in the back seat so she didn't get hit wait her dad her dad was mobbed up somehow and like somehow. no but her dad got his head both parents oh, yeah. both car. parents so her mother's main Jean's main field yeah. Yeah, that was her mom. It's an infamous photo of her with her boobs are kind of like almost pouring out her dress. Mm -hmm. And she's sitting at a table with this other actress. I forgot her name. Oh, um, was it Audrey Hepburn? Yeah. She's like still looking she's at kinda, her boobs. Yeah, she's looking at her boobs. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Damn, that was a bitch. Those are big titties. Yeah. God <laughs> damn. May you rest in peace. I know. But, you know, but yeah, then she died. That's like, insane. Oh, Imagine you there with your sibling at the ages of, the age of six, single digits, and like, witnessing the your parents their death yeah like yeah. what dr trauma like the mental factor mm -hmm. yeah I mean hopefully she was young enough where it didn't necessarily it just like you know it's always gonna be there I yeah. think yeah for sure but yeah I think, I think yeah as the years go by it's just like you know Dilutes. At least she's rich. Is that the key? Oh, I guess it's the window. Because it's getting like a little misty. Oh, yeah. It's shitty weather, man. Yeah. Yesterday was nice and sunny, but like cold still. Yeah. And then tomorrow. This is the, the uh, it's for the Midtown Tunnel. You know what this does, right? No. It pumps air. It gets a, um, really? Oh, what you call it? 
Yeah, yeah, it's like, you know, it just filters the air through the tunnel. Huh. Yeah, that's, I guess that makes sense. It's all those cars, you know, fumes. Oh, yeah, have we done um, Gantry Park yet? Can we drive past? No. Look at that. Look at the, look at the city. The fog over in this city. These fucking condos. I would love to live over here. Really? It's definitely a nice little like secluded town. You have everything you need. But oh, there's no like style to it. No. It's no. All very uniform. It's all very different. You know what looks weird? Roosevelt Island. You ever been there? It's so mm-hmm. weird. I feel like I'm in a third world country. Sometimes. It feels like you're in like I've never been to Russia. Like Russia, or, you're like, Russia. You know? Yeah. But it's like if I would ever go, I feel like this would be Russia. Yeah. You ever see that movie Dark Water? Dark Water, <laughs> no. It came around the same time, like when they had that whole ring and the grudge kind of thing. Oh yeah. And it's with Jen- Jennifer Connolly. They shut down Roosevelt Island just because yes. of that reason. Because yes. it's just such a secluded fucking weird place. Yes. The movie wasn't too good, but it was it creates that claustrophobic feeling that you get. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's weird there. Well, it's also a big uh, handicap community because everything is accessible there. Is that it's like why a, it's a, a big like wheelchair community there at the tip of the uh, one of the tips of the island. Really? Yeah. And then on the other, the the uh, southern tip of it, you, so have, you just put all the handicaps on an island. <laughs> yeah. Sounds very Nazi. (laughs) (laughs) No, I think they're onto something. (laughs) No, and then the southern tip, of course, is the old um, um, women's hospital, which was basically an insane asylum. And that's when you had that that reporter who went in there. He was like back in like the twenties, I guess. Who went in there acted crazy so she could report about it she could get in there it's like yeah oh, yeah have... I remember that yeah story. so that was on roosevelt island and she actually ended up getting stuck there yeah really and then so but that, she eventually gets out like yeah. the the new york times had to bust her out because they're like um she's not crazy yeah. Yeah, she's not crazy and but she was saying how like all, all the you know the, the people there the, the specialists were like you know harassing these women who were insane because they probably cheated on their husband or whatever and, or got a divorce, like, oh, therefore you are insane and we're going to put you in this hospital. And the government's going to take your house, too. Mm-hmm. Your um, husband makes a million dollars a year. <laughs> You're an idiot. You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Go to jail. Go to this island. Are you, are you stupid? stupid? <laughs> like, he beats me. <laughs> you better take those beans from that one. Ah, so bad. So um, bad. And then, so I, I went on a run around the island and did like a few laps. I think each lap is like three miles or something. Oh, really? It's yeah. three, three miles around the island? Yeah. And then I, I got to the tip where the, the wheel, wheelchair community is. And I ever heard this like argument going on in the, um, like kind of on the street. And it's two guys in wheelchairs. And one guy goes, fuck you, I'm going to the garden. And he kind of like wheels off. Rolls off. Yeah, it was the most <laughs> adorable thing I've ever seen. <laughs> It would have been funnier if he was like, he rolls towards a wheel, like a hill. Like, like, like him walking off, like a storm off for him, just being speeding down this fucking hill. It's like, eventually, eventually I'll get there. Yeah, no, they, they showed that fight. Um, It was a guy that had no legs and another guy that was on a wheelchair. And the guy with no legs grabbed the guy off the wheelchair and both of them landed in front of each other oh. so they can't move right. away from each other so they're just stand they're just like i don't know standing stand it. <laughs> like but they're, they're just throwing fucking fists at each other it's like just fist the cuffs they can't even move just like just in that area fight till the end <laughs> like, so, somebody came and like broke it away like pulled how do you them. break up a fight that way you just pulled one pull one of them away uh, like, that was just they should make a league like that, not with handicaps, but uh, like a league where it's like you have to put one, like you, you know how they have to slap, um, oh, slap game thing. Yeah, I but think it's so stupid. I, do, you know the amount of fucking concussions, like those guys can't. I know. Oh, fuck, they can't even CTE. Yeah, That's so, so bad. Fighting that. Yeah, like right to the dome. That's it. <coughs> you be in years to come, you're done, bro. Yeah, but they should create one where, and you know people do do this. You put like a circle or a mm. tire and you put one of your foot inside. Oh, yeah. And you got to like just end push your straight guy boxing match. And whoever gets knocked out, quit. 
by taking your foot out of the tire, the other person you lose. Yeah, they actually use that. That's actually Sumo. a boxing. Um, yep, it's a it's a it's a boxing. Yeah, arm. they use that in boxing to keep you, you know, the head movements. Yeah, you know. stay 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 close to the body and just yeah. shoot it out. Sweet beef. What's going on here? We do a lot of filming over here. Oh, who's filming here? I saw signs back there for there's SVU. Like one sign there. There's two different yeah. signs here. Most wanted. Most wanted. By FBI? Yeah. yeah. Dick Wolf. Dick Wolf. Apparently, I don't know if I should say this. What? I'll tell you after the show. Oh, okay. Oh. Is it funny? Who touched who? <laughs> who touched your wolf, Dick? Uh, oh, wow. What was his name? <laughs> oh, it's actually about Dick Wolf. Oh, uh, is it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, he. I always he wanted one of those hats. The Dick Wolf kid. It's a Dick Wolf production hat. It's like, it's kind of cool hat. Yeah, but it turns out the Dick Wolf's actually gay. <laughs> Is he really? No. Oh. <laughs> we should just start rumors on this show. <laughs> just, just go with it. Welcome to the rumor mill. <laughs> it's like, you just start rumors. <laughs> Lou Reed died from a gallon of cum in his stomach. Jeez. <laughs> Lou Reed dead of cum drunkenness. Outdoor I've always wanted to go here. It's all right. Oh, yeah, you've been? Yeah, it just gets fucking crowded. Oh, yeah, like all the live music and all the families and kids running around. Yeah, it gets so fucking crowded. And then there's always those assholes that are like, I don't know. Tipsters. Hey, what are you doing here? Yeah. Like, Shut the fuck up. I can't come on and have a good time. No, you're not allowed. You're brown. <laughs> like, yeah. What you doing here, pal? Just, you know, trying to be a freaking conversation. <laughs> Do you have a ticket? There's no tickets involved. Well, do you have one? Do you have a ticket? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have a ticket? Mm -hmm. I just don't think people should come to Vince without a ticket, okay? That's what I miss about Richmond, Virginia, man. Ticket. Everything's ticketed. Everything's free. Oh, they got an event going to Richmond, Virginia. Um, There's like a whole, like... Um, convention where it's like all old wrestlers like Ric Flair oh, yeah? going to be there and then they had um, Charlie Hunnan and um, oh, nice. Ron Perlman from uh, uh, okay, Sons of Anarchy Sons of Anarchy nice. we got to the part where it's like how like why yeah like how are you, why, why are you guys there like is, is it rough times or I think if anything it's it's a good sign for Richmond no, 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 I mean, I mean for like, oh, oh, right, like, right, right. like, you know, those guys, I understand the wrestlers. Yeah. But it's like, <laughs> Charlie Hunnam hasn't been in anything. Ron Perlman hasn't been in anything in a while. But Ron Perlman is Ron Perlman. He's like, he's Hellboy, yeah. you know, he's all that stuff. It's like Charlie Hunnam, he did that, and then he did, uh, Pacific Rim. Pacific Rim. And then, uh, and then he did the Guy Ritchie movie. Yes, um, The Gentleman. No. Yeah? Uh-huh, The Gentleman. Yeah, he the gentleman. plays the... The guy where he's Hugh Grant comes to his house and tells him the whole story, and he's just like, "That was a good movie, not bad." And then they're doing a show with yeah like, Theo Vaughn. Vaughn. Yeah. Theo Vaughn? Mm -hmm. Not Theo Vaughn. Oh. Sorry, uh, Theo something. He was in White Lotus. Oh okay. <laughs> Theo, Theo Vaughn. Vaughn. That'd be hilarious. Oh my god. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> I'm gonna kill you anyway. <laughs> And then I took the retarded girl back to my house and we had sex. He's like, that's gay, dude. That's gay, dude. <laughs> Not <Nah>, cool. <laughs> He's a good comedian. It's funny. It was uh, Sean, um, what was the UFC fighter? Sean, um. O'Malley? No. Strickland? Strickland. Mm -hmm. It was an interview. Uh, Theo Vaughn was interviewing him. He's like, dude, there's some things that I, you know, I, I, I sit and I watch your show and there's sometimes I hear you say things where I'm like, this guy's like really smart, or this guy's fucking stupid. <laughs> he's like, you're like Rain Man. <laughs> he's like, no. like Theo Vaughn's sitting there, and he's like, thanks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to do that. Yeah, he didn't know how to <laughs> respond. He was like, thanks. Sean Strickland is something else. Right? Oh, he is so unfiltered. He doesn't give a fuck. He's one of the few fighters that I can think of in recent memory who was that open. 
say what the fuck is on his back. Yeah, let him. They, they used to do that back in the day, then they got like, they kind of shut them in. You, they got political. Yeah, you know? now they're like, fuck it, just say what you want to say. Well, I think it got to the point where Dana White's also telling the guys, like, are you going to go? I'm giving you the okay. Like, yeah. oh, God, okay. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> he looks hot when he looked at it. <laughs> Like giving him the go ahead, and now he's gonna pull up next week. Uh, like, don't look at me, sir. Uh, okay, he's good. Uh, he stayed behind. He was like, uh, he's like, street him in that car. <laughs> it's like Dana White doesn't give a fuck no more, too. Um, I have a birthday thing tonight. Whose birthday? My. Neighbors, Hannah's friend Sydney. Your neighbor's Friends. friend Sydney. Sounds like a made up party, actually. No. Yeah, <laughs> it sounds like a birthday party that you really don't have to go to. Like, you you don't don't it's a bar crawl in Williamsburg. Oh, so yeah. The, oh, fun. but it's like a, a rainy night, I though. Know. That's the But problem. that might be better. It might be less crowded. That's Maybe. true. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but if you do the crawl, like you're, you're crawling out and you're going to the next door. Like you're not walking two, three blocks yeah, in the rain yeah, to the yeah. next one. That's a good thing about Williamsburg. You kind of it's a perfect spot to do bar crawls. Which you get drunk faster. Mm-hmm. She wants to do the thing though. Where she wants to get a beer and a shot at every bar. Mm. That's gonna hurt. I, I can't even do shots at every bar. Mm-hmm. It was gonna be annoying too because you, you you get acclimated at one bar and they're like, all right, time to go. Yeah, well, and, and here's the thing too. It's raining. It might not be a lot of people, so you might get those beers and those shots quicker. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be like a downpour kind of day. I hope not. Got another Jersey. I fly. I do, I do miss like Hoboken area. Hoboken's nice. Yeah. It's, it's a real college. Yeah. College bathrooms for you. The girls there are my, more my type for sure. Definitely your type. Mm-hmm. The woo types. The woo. Taylor Swift. Let's go, girls. <laughs> that song always reminds me of the ice cream song. You know, like, hello. Hello. That song is actually cool. The Shania Twain song. Let's go, girls. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. It's the same thing. Okay, see this dickhead. There's a turning lane in the left, in the but he's turning from this middle lane. <coughs> Maybe Jesus. he's less. What's the word? Dyslexic. 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 Dick yeah. sucks sick. Yeah, I can't even fucking say the word. Oh, right. here comes this guy again. I know. Like, he's fucking comes, high. Here comes fuck right now. Boy genius over here. Double barrel shotgun sitting on the side. You just remember that movie? Um. Oh my God, Scrooge! You ever seen that yeah. movie, Scrooge? Yeah, the, uh, the Bill Murray. Yeah, yeah. They yeah, had yeah, that yeah. Christmas promo for the guy. He sticks a shotgun out the window. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a fucking oh. dark good film that is. They should bring back movies like that. Oh man, they do, but they only put those movies like in independent circles. You know? Yeah, yeah. Those movies like, like I just saw Glorious Bastards for the first time, like in. Forever. Great movie. I'm like, man, this movie is so. You never good. saw it before when it. No, I did. Oh, okay. okay. It's been a while. Oh, you rewatched yeah. it. Yeah. Like, Yo, this movie is so. Dark. It's really good. Abba, shashala. Did did you um did you know that the bear Jew was supposed to be Adam Sandler? Really? But it was uh, Eli Roth. Yeah, yeah, he, uh, yeah, yeah. He was like, you know, Quentin Tarantino was like, he went to Adam Sandler. I wrote this role for you. Mm-hmm. And he's always they've always wanted to work together. Well, he's been friends with him for a long time. Long time. Like he told them, like so. So um, according to how they said the story went, that Eli Roth was in the midst of thinking about Hostel, the first one, mm. and he didn't know if he was going to write it. He didn't think it was going to be good enough, and he told Quentin about it. And Quentin says, "If you don't write it, I'm going to fucking write it. it. <laughs> you don't want me write it. Oh, okay. Better fucking write that script." <laughs> Because that would be that would be such a good concept, though. You can't beat that. It's so real. Did, and didn't visual. Hustle also came out the same time as uh, Saul, the first Saul? Right? It was around that time. It was so the same. But Saul was to me was like because Saul was like they even said it. Um, their their influence was like Seven. 
you know, and then mm-hmm. you just went to a next level with it. Yeah. But for me, Hostel was the most plausible one. Right. And it wasn't a weird It wasn't campy. And, yeah. No. It was straight up like, you go to some place, you think it's going to have a good time, meet some girls, and you go to the wrong place, and they, they just harvesting your organs and taking you apart for fun. Yeah. Like, that's fucking, that seems real to me. Yeah. That's happening somewhere in this world. That is. Did you watch Thanksgiving? No. Was, I, I saw it. That was really good. I saw it. Yeah. It, it, it's really gory. You know what it is? It's a slasher film. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, think about Scream. It's definitely your I know what you did last summer mm-hmm. Scream type okay. of vibe. It's 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 a movie that it's it's going to be repetitive. They're going to come out with a two, three, four. Oh, so we have one out. Well, they only have one they out. Started, just came out. I really like the girl, the main girl who's a. Because yeah, it le- it's gonna be a great like franchise. From yeah, beyond. yeah, it's it's really good. It's it's you know you throw it on, don't expect you know. The kills are really but, smart too. Remember the yeah. f- the lady, the first one it was like with the freezer. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, he she- baked. You watched him bake this woman alive. Oh God. Yeah. In a, a oven, and she's like just screaming and like oh, um. And then, and then he puts the. Uh, he opens it up again and he puts a thermometer in her mouth. And yeah. He closes it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the, oh, the freezer scene. Remember the freezer scene? Oh, yeah. so this lady runs. The freezer door opens. She runs into the freezer door. Her face got smacked against it, and because of the warmth of her skin, got stuck. See and freezer. you see her pulling her oh. face off and the skin ripping off yeah. of her face. It was really a good, good. Really good Eli Roth movie. But that was Eli Roth. Yeah, movie. yeah. Oh, he's back. I haven't heard anything from that guy. He did this while. dumb show on. It was like stories of the night or whatever. And it was like a like a series where it's hour episode each, where it's like these things that actually happened. Oh, I saw that. Me and Vanessa put it on our to watch. Yeah, uh, it's used. It's dumb. It's not good. No, I mean there are a few that have like actually happened, and the other few where it's like. Oh yeah, and I'm the only witness of this that happened. This this crime. Oh, this crazy. Like, only like witness. A crazy person. And like. the, uh, and then, so they do the reenactment of everything. But like, of course, he's like, yeah. But then, uh, sadly, the uh, my friend he died not too long ago. My other witness he died. My other witness I can't get a hold of. It's like, yeah, sure. Yeah, this happened. Song to song, fate. This mm. sounds fake. Yeah. So like, they, yeah, so they have like the the testimonial interview. And then, like whatever he says, they'll do they'll reenact it and whatnot. But it was it was like one that was kind of like Stranger Things. Stranger um, Things. Do you guys want to go to Raises finally? Raises? No. <laughs> no. No. One day, I'm fucking tired. Yeah. After this, I'm gonna pass out again. Yeah, I gotta. This week was long. It was a long week. And it wasn't like we did a lot. No. It just felt oh. long. I think it was the rain. The rain, yeah, right? This is so dreary every mm-hmm. single day. Um, this, yeah, I think this next week's going to be nice. Yeah. It's, it has, it's supposed to rain, I think, next Saturday again. Later, maybe part of rain. But it seems like it's going to be sunny most of the day. Yeah. Week. Just give me enough sun to see all the trees start blooming. That started budding. I saw one tree in my block that started to, to bud. I got really excited. You know it's getting warm when the boobies are coming. Yeah, <laughs> the sun dresses. And everything's like, ah, you're this very low top. You're jogging. Put your tit away, sir. <laughs> Get ready for a daylight savings tomorrow, too. Oh, yeah. What do we we losing we lose time. an hour We're losing time, but yeah. we uh, we get uh, well, seven p.m. Sunset. The key is uh, what does they say? Uh, spring is the time spring forward, and fall the time falls back. Yeah, that's how they you know say you should. So that's why they call it spring and, and fall. No, I think that it's, I don't know. just how I think it's to remember. Yeah. It's really well, it's funny where it's like yes, yeah, spring is of course like you know flowers are spring and falls like maybe leaves are falling or whatever but then you have like winter and summer which has nothing to do with well, those are the solstice the, sol- the, the solstice, solstice. When it's the most extreme you have um, i always got kind of like that spring and fall is more the balance between winter is the extremes of it the force yeah summer's extreme I always i always look at it as as death you know spaghetti mafia they're back it's an Italian thing, right? 
<laughs> spaghetti mom. Hey, my meatball. Too, too not, not spicy. It doesn't even say spaghetti. It's like it's, it's spaghetto. No, it no yeah. says spaghetti. Yeah, spaghetti. Oh, spaghetti. Oh, you, you're you're seeing as a second T. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Spaghetto. Spaghetto. That's <laughs> that's my villain. What you call me? It's like a <laughs> spaghetto. It's like, a, it's like an ex. Oh, it's villain. like an Italian ghetto. <laughs> spaghetto. Spaghetto. It's Staten Island for you. <laughs> Yo, yeah. <laughs> Staten Island. Spaghetto. spaghetto. Yo, oh, don't don't see me. Geez. It's on site if you see me. It's spaghetto. Um, wasn't it? Uh, this daylight saving times. Wasn't it supposed to stop? Like one. I day know. Day? I think they just said never mind. I have no idea what happened with that. I do remember hearing that they wanted to keep it as long as possible because they had so many flights booked for, for like for like years. So they were waiting for like the last flight to like Oh yeah, like someone can not fucking do a one hour different. I know. The amount of times that flights are delayed for like one, two, three hours, <laughs> maybe a day, and you're gonna to give that as the uh, you know, the example. Not you, but <laughs> you're like, why are you going home for me? For I just what did I do? I'm just saying what I heard. I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> Sorry. Anthony and Sons, really good sandwiches. That's where they yeah. are. Really good sandwiches. Oh my god. You want good sandwiches? <laughs> Get the NYPD. It's like chicken cutlet sandwich. Oh, uh, give me a chicken cutlet. Is that fucking Wednesday Adams there? Right. Wednesday Adams with uh She's got a hot dog. She looked like a Tuesday Adams. Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Still got it. Tuesday Adams. Where are these guys going? Anthony and Sons. See two Italian guys walking. They're going to Anthony Nerds. and Sons. Probably gay. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. This is the only time we can make fun of Mafia and I heard about getting whacked. Uh, I don't know, guys. You don't know? You don't, I don't. They, listen. I think they are. I mean, they got, they got uh, some pond in Long Island, it's like some uh, a hand show. Dude, I feel like you know, uh, like with the mafia and stuff like that, they do their, they do whatever they got to do, but they're not showboating. They're not showing it off. This is how it should be. You know, get the job done, whatever, respectfully. 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 <laughs> Get your business done. What is this? Home run, walk-ins, welcome. Like, what is what it? Is it? What is that? What do you mean, walk-ins, welcome? What do you sell? Yeah. It, like, is and it you can't even tell what's inside. Clothing store? Like, what, you need an appointment for a clothing store now? Mm-hmm. Stupid. It's like when you go to the meatpacking um, industry, they have those clothing stores. And you go inside, it's a big open area, and there's like five t shirts on a rack. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, and you, you know damn well, like, they're not making money off of this clothes. There's something going on in yeah, the back. You gotta order it offline. Yeah. yeah. You come to the store to see what you like. And feel the fabric of our five t shirts. Yeah. And then here's our catalog of more five t shirts. <laughs> This shirt is made from the grass of Nicaragua, <laughs> eaten by a worm. It's not so. Is that a silkworm? It's not a silkworm. And sewn with the sweat of a little Guatemalan lady. <laughs> and then, if you smell it, you can really smell the desperation. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the tears of actual what fear looks like. It's really great. I the one in the back, it smells like a burrito. <laughs> it still has the scent. It smells like a burrito. It smell smells that? like what Maria had for lunch. Yes. That day. <laughs> do you smell that? Do you smell that? It's just like, do you smell that? <laughs> she put the shirt in your face. So you, just, you just got this damn pen and look on your face like, really? Do you like it? Do you want it? Do you want it? You can't have it. You can't. Uh, <laughs> it sounds like a girl teasing you for sex, but actually, it's just a girl selling you something. Right. T shirt. My pyramid scheme. Do you love it? Do you want it? Do you want it? Nah. Nah, you can't have it. Get out of my store. Tony. Is it herbal tea that was made from the stomachs of cows? It's, it's vegan. It's vegan. It's vegan. It's vegan. It's vegan milk from a cow. <laughs> Trust me, the cows are getting massaged every day. We just feed our cows cashews all day long, so they're just producing cashew milk. <laughs> 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 
<clears throat> I don't even know. I, I you said cashews. I used to love cashews, and Me then too. like they're good for you. They are good for you, but, but then they're really high in fat content. They yeah, they are really yeah. high in fat content. Yeah. But the problem too, like, and I've been hearing all this shit. Like, you don't know what to do anymore. They're like almonds and cashews and peanuts. Mm-hmm. You're eating those. It's like you have to chew them very well because if you don't, they become little shards in your stomach lining, and they do give little rips. Oh, my God. I'm like, what the fuck am I? Like, I don't know what to do anymore. You know what's wild is that they recently said that beef was not as bad as they say it. No, it's not. It's like, so now you can eat beef all you want. Yeah. I don't Eddie, know. Eddie, what's his name on Instagram? I love this guy. He's amazing. Mm. Eddie he used to be a pro bodybuilder, but he's just like... Uh, kind of like a health influencer now where it's like everything that he did in the past as a bodybuilder he goes against oh yeah um and he tells you you know he he advises and like you know it's not really you know you don't have to take it to heart but yeah. it's like you know eat eggs eat meat eat eat all this shit yeah. like and don't worry about the fat content and all that stuff well, I think nowadays you get it now. It's like you got healthy fats and you got, you know, yeah. bad fats. Like, yeah. they, even though we say the thing about cashews and walnuts and all these things fats, but they're good they're fats. They're good fats. Mm-hmm. And yeah. they're good from a good source versus, like, if you was eating, I don't know, a whole tube of a tub of ice cream. Right? Yeah. Just yeah. Of fat. Dude, I, got, I was so bummed when I, uh, I got a croissant and Calvin was like, you know, that's like a super high source of... That's fat. the most fattiest thing you I can ever so eat. I was so bummed because I love croissants. Because it's just made with butter. Yeah. Butter. Yeah. You know? I'm, it makes sense because I butter. do feel butter. <laughs> but it's like, the, but the thing is, like, it, depending what butter it is, but I guarantee you that the croissants that you're probably getting here are made with the, the butter that, like, has, that's 80% vegetable oil. Yeah. And, like, you know, high saturated with trans fat and whatever, whatever I don't know yeah but it's not like you're getting a croissant from like another country where it's like you know it could be you know homemade churned butter that's like you know straight from a cow and because bread when, when you look at bread uh the guy Eddie was like also talking he always does this thing where he goes in like a uh, a grocery store and he'll take a loaf of bread and he'll be like look at this shit and he goes down the ingredients, and he's like, bread is only made with four fucking ingredients. Yeah. Not yeah. 50 ingredients yeah, on this right. thing. And then, I think I've seen that video. Yeah, and he would also, he would always be like, wake the fuck up. up. Yes. Yes, I know what you're yep. talking about. He's like, bread is made with three things, water, flour, and it was one of them. I think yeast or yeast, like whatever. Yeah, yeah. Very simple, very simple. Three yeah. four ingredients. Yeah. Yeah, and he, did, and he said, you got all this other fucking thing, like beef. What was it like? Some sort of chemicals. Like, yeah. you can't pronounce this fucking shit. And it's in your bread. Yeah. yeah. That's because most of it's preserved. I always say is like, if you can't pronounce it and you don't know what it is, don't eat it. Ah. That's, yeah. that's it. I feel like this is the best way to go about things. I heard that I mean, they used to add orange flavor to orange juice. Like, hi, what? Yeah. what? Orange flavor, that's right. Yeah. Why would you just eat orange? <laughs> you asshole. Or if you have Squeeze dyslexia and orange. you can't read it all, then you're like, I can't eat. <laughs> What is that? I don't know. What is that? I don't know. Is this something that matter? You know, they sound like the guy from Family Guy. That's an egg. Okay. All right. Okay. My all time favorite scene ever from Family Guy is when Quagmire discovers online pornography. Oh, He's God. like, What do you tell me? You can find porn online? He's like, Yeah, Quagmire. He's in his house all day. He's out his arm. He's on yeah. <laughs> Hey, guys. What are we doing today? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Quagmire. <laughs> My favorite one will always be, I forget the guy's name, but the guy who's always the guy in the wheelchair. When he finally gets his new legs, oh, yeah. he fucks them up. <laughs> Who wears short shorts? No, I wear short shorts. <laughs> he made to break your legs. I think it was Stu, right? What's his name? Joe. Hey. Oh, the one in the wheelchair? Yeah, Joe. 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 Yeah, yeah. He's, break He's like American Joe. Dad. He looks like American Dad. That yeah, no, is yeah. the same shit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Pretty much the same character. And that's, um, that's Putty from Seinfeld. Mm. Did LA. you see him do, um, Orville, you ever seen that show? No, but oh, I've I've been meaning so to. Orville, oh, that's the creator of uh, Family Guy, yeah, Seth MacFarlane. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's so good. But they keep like they think about bringing it 
back for a season, another season, but then they go back when they work. It's like mm-hmm. they only got two seasons in, I think. Yeah. And it's like, I don't know, you guys didn't technically end it. Is it coming back? And it's so good, it shouldn't stop. Yeah. It's so much, it's such good writing. It's so sharp and witty. And it's current events. So it's like, it's a really good show, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's funny how they, they how always they do, do that. that, yeah. You get a good show going, you're like, hey, and it's Fox, of course. Right. Fox is known for doing that type of shit. <laughs> good shows. All right, good. so. What do we end this? We got a uh, quote of the day. Yeah, well, let me find a quote. Whenever we do these drive casts, you'll be the one doing the quote. Um, stay away from anybody with funny mustaches, please. Quotes. Is that a quote? No, him. Oh. There's a warning. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like too. a good quote, though. Yeah, stay away from people with funny mustaches, yeah. Uh, <laughs> come here. Let's tie up to the tracks. Good quotes in English. Quotes of uh, God is most glorified in us when we are most satisfied in Him. No. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I have this. Um, uh, I got it. You analyzing it? I sang a song at my sister's wedding. My mother forced me into that too, but that one felt all right. That's a quote, like. No, that's a bad quote. Yeah. It's still like a uh, motivational. All right, here's one. Okay. My name is Adam Sandler. I'm not particularly talented. I'm not particularly good looking, and yet I'm a multimillionaire. You said it. Adam Sandler. God damn it. You're too good. <laughs> You're too good at that. Oh, you suck at these. All right, we're done. <laughs> Merry Christmas.